In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in to your account at the personalsupporttraining.ca website. That's where you'll find the online courses for learning how to provide palliative care and end of life care if you're a PSW, an HCA working in Canada. To log in to your account, you'll go over here and click on login. I'm going to make this a bit larger here. So I've already created a user account. And most students will have been sent their username and their password. So I'm just entering the email address. and hoping I remembered the password. And here we go. I click on submit and here I am at the login page. Uh, this is what you see, tells you a list of courses. And to access your courses, you go up here at the top for the top menu items, click on my courses. And what we see here is you are now registered in this course. I don't know what to say. It tells you when it was last updated, tells you you haven't started it, and all you have to do is click on the title of the course and your course will load. And it takes a few minutes depending, and there you are. All your learning modules are here. It tells you whether you've tried the quiz at any time here. You have used, used three, zero of three attempts, there's no due date. I believe you have six months to a year, depending on where you're taking the course. And you can start each module by clicking on the module. So we'll open module one. And we're just going to freeze the play here for a minute. You can see up at the top right, you can go back to the course outline if you want to from here. If you want to play or pause, you click on the left-hand bottom corner. So now we're going to play. It starts the module. And if we want to pause it, we click pause. To play the next slide, Hi, click next. I'm Kath Murray, a hospice palliative care nurse and educator. I'm here to guide your learning today. How would you like me to address you? Anytime you click on next at the bottom right of the screen, it will advance to the next slide. However, note that if you do advance before the timeline has finished playing for the slide, it will not mark that slide as complete. And then you will end up having to redo and figure out which slide you didn't completely play. So it's actually better if you simply listen to the audio and let it run through and finish each slide. That one has finished playing for us. I've turned the audio off. And as you can see, the goals for our course, the course, I don't know what to say, are that you will have the skills and knowledge such that you will never feel the need to say, I don't know what to say, which I think is a beautiful idea. So we'll stop playing that for a moment. We're going to go back to the course outline. And we go up to the top menu item on the right hand side, back to course outline. Return to course. And I'm wondering, maybe some of you would prefer to learn in a different order. So know that you can click on the modules as they go along and choose to open them in the order that you would like to learn. Just going to make sure that the audio is off. And it wasn't. OK. So you can start the modules and learn in the order that works for you and jump around if that works better for you. Or you can simply follow this order as it's laid out. The last item most people usually do is the quiz. Now, you do have three attempts for the quiz. For some people, they want to know, well, how much do I already know? If that's your choice, go ahead and take the quiz at the beginning. See what you do know. You have three attempts. And then after you finish the course, 
see what your score is afterwards. So there's a lot of flexibility here. There's also a lot of structure. Our structure is laid out in the order we placed the modules. It's your choice to learn in the order that you want to. When you've finished learning for the day, all you have to do, go back to the main page, top right, log out, and you're logged out of the program. If you're working in a shared office area or even shared computers with people in your family, it's a good idea to log out after you finish working for the day simply because it saves your work and it makes sure that your course uh, progress is saved and that nobody else uh, is involved in your course. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Good luck with your learning.